Bleak came before a worldwide social media outage this afternoon. For six hours, Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp were down. Experts say they can't completely rule out hackers, but an error with the domain name system could be the problem. Alexis Carpello spoke with small business owners who rely on social media for their sales. Alexis, the outage seriously impacted them. Yeah, Eric and Hannah, both of the small business owners I spoke with today explained that running a business through social media can be nerve-wracking. When Instagram breaks down, who is your business? That's a question many small businesses were forced to address Monday after Facebook and Instagram suffered outages. I look at Instagram as like the old school email newsletter. Like 10 years ago, everyone was in their emails checking in for the latest on their favorite small business. And now Instagram is totally that. Triple T Creation co-owner Taylor Lukowski says most of her customers come from Instagram. That's where she started her business. I think like 93% of my people clicking on a link is from Instagram. I think your presence on social media as a business is so vital to your existence now. You could lose everything that you've worked hard to build, but we also have to like realize that that is the risk that you take with social media. Using social media, it's almost like having them on, adding them as a friend on Facebook, and they can kind of see the inner workings, get a heads up on a new sale or a deal that might be running. And it's a really good way to kind of have that inside scoop where the website isn't that dynamic. Small business owner Emily Abramat says the outage set her back on work. Definitely has impacted uh, what I would be doing today. Today is typically the day that I write a lot of copy and content that I'll post throughout the week. If social media was down for a week, it would be very tough. Oh, it would be huge um, because when my clients have questions on their orders, they would DM me, they don't have my phone number. And it made me realize how important it is to have a website as an online presence as well. Both women do have websites for their businesses, but they tell me social media is where they do the majority of their marketing. Hannah?